Hey guys, here for another video, and do you guys like my sweater? It's the Hood Teddy Fresh. Uh, this shit's ugly as hell, I'm not gonna lie. I got off the gym, I just needed a hoodie, and I just went to Target and just like, Hey, what's the cheapest shit you guys got? But this color scheme is awful as hell. Add that with the good old, the good old mega hat. And I, yeah, this color scheme looks like I literally am on the spectrum, which I'm not gonna lie. There was a time, I swear to God, whoa, whoa, let me kill this bug really quick, boop. Uh, yeah, I I was thought into believing I was. Uh, what do you mean, Sam? Back in the day, I don't think they do this in schools anymore, when you had to take something called the ISAT. Uh, it was basically like a proficiency test to kind of test where you are in life, aka school. So if you're in third grade, you do your ISAT test, cool. You tested that you're in third grade or you're going to fourth grade, you know, those reading proficiencies and all that shit. And I didn't think it mattered. There was, I think, what, what grade I was in. I was like in, I think it was like seventh grade. I'm like, fuck the ISAT. Do you think I want to take this reading comprehension test? Do you think I want to read about Timmy? Why Watching a fucking blue moon and saying this gay ass poem shit. So I just put like D for every response. I mean, it, it doesn't take much knowledge to know that if you put D for every response, you're probably gonna get a bad grade. So literally, my score was like on the retard score, and I was like in retard reading classes for like a year before I tested out, and I was like, damn, it's it's strange. I mean, there's a hot girls I remember, but it's like um, I remember one girl's like vocabulary, and then the lady uh, teacher was like, whoa. Lissette, that was such a big word. Clap, everyone. Could you say that word again? Vocabulary. And then I'm just like in that room just thinking about like how I want to kill myself. But hey, easy A for the win. So today we're going to do a little bit of a, you know, different video because personally, uh, I used to be a little bit more ruthless back in the day. Uh, obviously, the quality is more horrible. But when I did OnlyFans review, I would talk a lot of shit more than I do now. Trust me, I tone it down way back now because uh, I, I don't know. I, I'm just like a natural bully. It's very, I don't want to say it's scary. I'm very controlled, but sorry, killing this fucking bug. Sorry, uh, let that. Yeah, there's like one little small fruit fly flying around, but uh yeah, I'm just like a natural, like, good roaster slash bully when I really want to. Uh, and I just hate being nice to these OnlyFans girls. Because a lot of them are privileged people, and I hate it that, like, they get this overinflated sense of ego. Trust me, it happens a lot. You know, even my last video where I mentioned that post of Claudia Chlamydia Rivers, I fortunately got my refund after talking enough shit, aka speaking the truth. When I talk shit, it's not out of emotion, it's out of the truth, right? I always say, hey, this is a hoe. Hey, this person's a bitch. Hey, this person has a bad person." Hey, this person's you know scamming you, ripping you off. Not saying it off the motion. I just see it. I just tell you how it is. Call a spade a spade. You know, kind of like the normal things. But yet these girls get triggered. So an important case study I thought would kind of be interesting to look at is like the Summer Ray Ray family. You're like, who are they? That's a group of people that are famous only for their looks. AKA Shannon Ray. AKA Summer Ray. AKA her her sister Skylin Ray. AKA another sister called Savannah Ray. It's crazy having like no father in your life kind of leads you to this path of becoming a hoe which you know hey if you want to be a hoe you can do that i like to say i love hoes i love fucking the shit out of them and then never seeing them again it's great i don't have to deal with them but when you think about like the grand scope of like society right where you kind of want to promote the nuclear family you don't want to have too many fuck boys you don't want to have too many sluts you kind of want to have a balance of everything and the fact that there's women like this promoting this to their daughters and then their daughters promoting this to younger people definitely is pretty unhealthy for example shannon ray she's a fucking old lady guess what she's out here being a hoe and she has a husband which i will get into and and now her daughters, again, same thing. They're all have uh, OnlyFans besides Summer Rae, but let's be real. I'm pretty sure when you look at her profile, she probably does some OnlyFans thing on the side. It wouldn't surprise me if she's an escort. It wouldn't surprise you any of their daughters were an escort because that's how they make their living, right? Some girls may say, well, I'm finessing guys. It's like, well, not really. You're just putting yourself in a position to be seen as a hoe and possibly never get wifed up to the, or, you know, to the man you really want. Otherwise, uh, sure, you can get fucked in the ass, suck a dick. I'm pretty sure 20 million guys are willing to fuck you but not many guys are probably willing to wife you up if they're really men that are worth it today i'm kind of going to examine a little bit of their family dynamics just give you guys a little bit of insight i just think it's interesting that you know their whole family is just a pretty much hoes and they actually you know even the old lady she's married to a guy which like i said i will get into and i think it's an interesting case study to maybe you guys give you guys you know provide a little bit of insight and in how to operate in the future and maybe avoid these type of women trust me it's always a red flag and usually never ends well it's like 
like I said, there are a couple women there. They're all hoes. It's uh, I'm just gonna say, tell you guys right off the bat, I did review all their OnlyFans in the past. If you guys ever wanna check it out, beside the ugly one, I shouldn't say that, beside the one that's not as hot as the other ones, but uh, yeah, they all have OnlyFans. It's very strange. The Skyland girl blocked me. I guess she just didn't like my OnlyFans, uh, cause I used to have another Instagram account, which I just talk shit. Right now, I'm pretty low key of everything, but Skyland still has me blocked to this day. And first, we're gonna examine the main head honcho ho, the old witch of Shannon Ray. So Shannon Ray, she has 667k followers. Mom of Summer Ray, Savannah Ray, Skyland, Bronson, Stay Fit, John 316. I hate it. This is, I'm telling you, and this is a very common thing with girls. They'll do some ho ass shit behavior and then put John 316, F Philippians 319, Revelations 8 9. How about I suck dick 24 7? Let's keep it real. Let's keep it a bean. I don't give a fuck if you put john 316 because you're you know actions speak louder than words when i see your profile and you act like a hoe i ain't gonna you know instead of ho with john john 316 a hoe 24 7 boom biblical verse right there shannon ray you're welcome thank me later i'll patent that shit another time but i definitely think it's pathetic that she has a check mark and she's famous for not really doing anything beside looking good and being the mother of a hoe another thing i find interesting is that she is married i was like looking at her profile and i'm like okay who is this dude be a true man and trust me i did my little research on him he is a successful guy but when i see that name i don't think he knows what he's worth right if a guy knows what he's worth he's gonna know what he wants and most guys don't want a hoe the fact that he married a hoe i mean albeit maybe he likes hoes maybe he knows that his time's up maybe he knows he only has 10 years of his life because this guy's a senior citizen before he fucking pass away or has alzheimer's or some shit maybe he's like you know what i just want to have one body to fuck she's hot whatever but realistically speaking when you're a man of high status or even i wouldn't even say high status i would say medium to high what is medium uh i would say people that make you know above average income is medium aka and i know it sounds contrary right medium above average medium uh it's more of the fact that if you're well off in life you probably don't want to marry a hoe i get it love is a factor i get emotions a factor emotions make you do stupid shit emotions makes you break exceptions to the rule trust me i've been in that position before i i wouldn't say I wifed up a hoe but you know i've had girlfriends that had hoe ass tendencies and the back of my mind i knew it wasn't going to work out in the long run but i kept with it because i just felt so much love towards them but again i just don't think it was worth it in the long run because i lost more things in the end than i should have so this guy kind of interesting be a true man i see his profiles buff old guy i hope i hope i hope as a man he is fucking the donkey shit out of her ho 24 7 shout out to that biblical verse i hope she's swallowing the, this guy's fucking cum i hope he's getting it on because trust me when you wife up a hoe it's so difficult i'm pretty sure their dynamics weird i'm pretty sure she's one of those girls that's like i'm an independent woman i could do whatever i want aka i'm gonna have an only fans imagine being an old man successful as fuck because i think he has his own construction company just from what i was researching having a lot of money and having a wife that is making you know has only fans like what are you good are you gucci bro now i get it if he's on the only fans just donkey fucking her great but last time i checked on only fans i didn't see any of that i definitely think it's embarrassing as a man so be a true man i hope one day you can actually be a true man and kind of you know be normal and be like hey I make the money, you're my wife, you don't have to do this, if you're gonna make money, don't make it off OnlyFans and selling your body because your body should only be mine, it's so weird that these women are willing to share their bodies with random strangers, aka for some nut. Next girl, Summer Rae, obviously the most famous one, 26.1 million followers, she has business inquiries, I would love to know what type of business, I guarantee you, and I swear to god, I've done this, I just haven't done this with her, I could reach out to her uh, fucking business inquiry, hey, how much the fuck, I'm pretty sure she's gonna be open to that, again, hoe behavior hoe tendencies don't be surprised to be treated like a hoe if they ever manage to watch this video don't be mad this is how you guys promote yourselves this is how majority of guys see you the 26.1 million followers that are looking at you isn't because you have a great personality isn't because you're trying to become a dj that you're you know you suck at it no offense but hey congrats that you're going for something good but no one is following you for the things you think they're following you right these girls have a lot of main character syndrome trust me you're a hot girl you have a big ass that's all you're known for you're gonna be known as the girl that most people want to fuck and that's it but hey shout out they do other things shout out they have a shop and everything but again don't expect to be treated as anything else if you treat yourself and sexualize yourself and you know categorize yourself as a hoe and to even further prove that right she even is the founder of i'm 
arise beauty guess what 22k followers look at the engagement on that zero comments 24 likes 30 <laughs> 30 likes zero comments three comments four comments look at one of her pictures oh half a million likes and over 3,000 comments you see what i'm saying so it just doesn't make sense to kind of you know if you if she, they do manage to get this video or they get triggered that someone treats them like a hoe don't get triggered that's just how it is and next person to look at with my finsta account aka fake instagram account skyland beady she did manage to block me i guess she didn't like that i was calling her a hoe and that shit but hey that's what you are again and to even like further prove my point right you get her instagram first thing on her instagram link tree what does her link tree have does it have her side business does it have some passions does it have some interests? does it have some fundraisers does it have anything that they support no it only has her fucking only fans so when i see that again ho behavior ho 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 everything is it's fucking christmas right christmas is coming ho 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 you got a family of hoes over here so i get it she blocked me she just didn't want to take accountability of being a hoe but again look at her pictures look how they promote themselves and i would say this is pretty unhealthy right the fact that her mom does this and then she enables all her daughters to do this that is a danger for men right and also a danger for women i always say it with women when they say like oh you know you look at statistics of rape right and i get it if someone's gonna get raped they're gonna get raped regardless one way or another but there are things that you can do to kind of mitigate the risk right or even lessen the volume of you know you possibly getting raped right aka uh you know you see some of these girls are like oh man i have a cyber stalker online well, imagine if you didn't sexualize yourself on the internet. Imagine if you didn't just post sexy pictures. Maybe, maybe you only did the I'm beauty that, uh, you know, Summer Rae has. I don't think you would get any stalkers or as many stalkers if you were just to promote your, I don't know, makeup brand. But the fact that you promote yourself as a hoe, the, the fact that you promote yourself as shaking your ass, looking your ass, look at my ass, that's all I have to offer. Then, yeah, there's going to be, you know, it's an evil world out there. Don't be surprised that you're going to get stalked. Don't be surprised that you're going to get sexualized. Don't be surprised that you're going to be called a hoe. Again, as I said, it is how it is. And last but not least, we have Savannah Ray, the least popular one of them. I feel sorry for her. She's got the ugly duckling, but she is pretty. I, she seems like she has a decent personality, but again, whole behavior, whole status, whole family, has an OnlyFans, monetizes and does her life off that. Obviously, you know, she labels herself as a forest nymph photographer model twitch streamer my spirit animal is a deer it should be a fucking dog because that's all people see you as aka a bitch and more content in the links below aka the only content no one wa watches you for your photography no one watches you for again for your personality you look at your pictures you're sexualizing yourself that's all you are to the people so all to say again this is just me just talking a little bit shit because i see these people trust me i have i just hold back so many times even in this video there's some things i wanted to say but i'm like no i just don't want to get my youtube taken down i just don't want to be flagged for bullying but it's just a lot of these girls just are hoes and that's just how it is and i think it's an interesting case study to look at this family and look at how they just monetize sexualizing themselves and it's kind of crazy mate i mean every girl i'm pretty sure is single beside the mother who married the be a true man guy I hope he gets, I, I want him to take the red pill. If I see BL Richards, I'm going to be like Morpheus. I'm going to have my fucking blue pill. I'm going to have my red pill. I'm going to like gap in my tooth a little bit more and be like with that smile, with shades, have an offer him the two pills and hopefully he takes the fucking red pill because i'm telling you as a successful old man he can do better he doesn't have to wife up a hoe he can fuck a hoe i hope he fucks lots of hoes i hope he goes home gets his dick sucked by a 22 year old a 24 year old that makes him some omelets a 26 year old is rubbing his toes a 27 year old has her ass bent over and then you have this old lady senior citizen grandma got ran over by a reindeer type bitch sucking his dick so you know i hope he gets successful one day but again avoid these type of girls and the only advice i can offer you with dating and in life in general is that sure you can wife up a girl that has hoe tendencies maybe she might be reformed but again think about probability think in terms of versus probability right fresh and fit says it all the time and it's a, quite a good thinking right uh not just in dating but in a lot of other things if you think terms and probability risk assessment like you even look at actuary work where they're they literally make a living calculating risks right trying to do the most optimal way to live life or maybe a most optimal way to get the most money of health insurance or an optimal way to live and not die right so these are all things you have to consider and i've wiped to pose and it's always ended not good it started good but then you know it kind of creeps on you like when you see your girl dancing like a hoe or maybe posting sexy pictures 
most guys don't like that i don't like that if you do like it and you're in a swinger lifestyle cool you're an exception but all i have to say is avoid those type of people be the best man you can be so you can pick the best woman you can because trust me this world is out here filled with hoes so i hope you guys like this video again very different style it's just me ranting i just figured i just wanted to talk some shit and also i had an only fans account that i didn't download all the content so i was like a little bit procrastinating because uh forensic accounting i was up to like 4 a.m literally just calculating numbers all day and then slept for three hours then work then here I am now. So I hope you guys have a you know good day. Please leave a comment below for any suggestions. Uh, Google form description. I am gonna keep doing OnlyFans requests. I just wanted to do this video on the side because I just lack time. I just figure I talk some shit. Like always, guys. Please hit that like button. Please hit that subscribe button. Hopefully we get 20 billion subs within the next three weeks. If not, I will actually kill myself. Later.